just taking a Saturday drive, 8 a.m. out to the farm to see what I'm filming today. See you there. I kissed him on the cheek and I gave him 10% off. We have three themes going on at the nursery today. Lie to everybody. You will make more money. We're putting cold sensitive plants into storage. Like, are you going to take that out again? It's like, oh, I think it died. Bidding on a new job with a new client. You planted it upside down. And planting six Atomoy in the back corner. <laughs> and this guy. So I'm digging the new sign. Nice and chilly. Any plant damage? Um, well, we didn't really get too low yet. Oh, it's more coming? Tonight. We're moving all our cold sensitive stuff into the trailer and shed. Gotta keep it warm. Morning, gentlemen. How y'all doing? Dude, you do realize it's supposed, to, it's supposed to be like 37. So in sunny South Florida, we get about five days of winter where we gotta put away the cold sensitive plants. Did you get all the plants that you're concerned about? Nope. And here we go. That's this morning's job. All hands on deck, putting all these little babies away so they don't get frostbite overnight. And then Johnny, is going to clean up the weeds in the shade house and also behind the shade house so we can have some more planting area to grow some food because we grow food and not lawns here so thank you johnny way to go and we'll get this all wrapped up put these away and cleaned out the tool shed so we got room stuff in there. Now, I don't know what this little powwow is about, but I think these girls are talking about hairstyles and gossiping about other nurseries in the local area. We're telling fart jokes, who knows. And there. I think we're about wrapped up with this portion of the, uh, the video. Oh, also another meme. We got uh and like the bend has to the bend has to be kind of where the end of the muddy We got a drain field situation that uh is getting discussed with Tom because Tom's kind of an expert on everything. Legitimately. There, tidy up that. And also Tom's gotta to get three buckets of mulch for his truck for his own food forest at home, which is pretty epic. So, let's do, let's do 10 feet off that one to 17, let's do like... Yeah, let's do 17 and a half yeah. to 20. Okay. That's and time to get the weeds out. And say hello to Lucky. And cook the dogs, which is my specialty around the nursery. So this is the part where the guys that are too old to do that hard work and too young to do that hard work. Get to hang out and cook the doggies. We got potato, potato salad. salad. Yes, it's the same potato salad every single time. This crew is just like the stinky skateboarders I used to drive around when Connor was making skateboard movies. Made a mess on the floor. Baby wipes. He ended up driving all the way from Naples to get like six mangoes and a Kaimito. Artistic. I was stoked on him, so. Oh, there, there's a couple. I kissed him on the cheek and I gave him a 10% off. Oh, that's awesome. Is that Chris? Yeah. So Chris referred us to this client who's about two miles away and has two acres of dried weeds now that will be regrown as a cash crop. Won't tell you which one because it's his business and I don't want him to have any competition. But he needs somebody to clean out these dried weeds and to till it and get ready, get it ready for the next cash crop. So uh, as he was driving over here on this tractor, it's only two miles, somebody stopped him and said, hey, can you bid on this project I'm doing? So I, I made sure we planted, uh, so we planted a hole and we planted really deep 
and we just like lightly put the soil in there we make sure to huge air pockets as much as possible that way when it tries to root out there's no dirt i'm really thinking that this thing will tip the top you over. planted it right you planted it upside down uh, this tree made the best out of oil i've ever had now just planting six out of more in the backyard with Johnny and Keegan because Tom had to take his mulch and go home. And there's Lucky, caught a lizard. That's why we call him Lucky. I don't know why we call him Lucky. So there we go, we're, we're planting these things and uh, they're going in the ground and getting stomped on and then mulched over. Adamoya, sugar apple, cherilata. And these will be uh, used to help propagate new plants right there next door in the plant making section. For the people at home who don't know what's going on, they're just looking at this and wondering wondering what is being planted here. <laughs> it's a stick. This is the same thing you put like, are you going to take that out again? It's like, oh, I think it died. <laughs> yeah, they die once a year. There's never a serious moment at this nursery. And that's our show. Go follow Connor at greenhouse underscore homestead and incredible edible landscapes on Instagram. Cheers.